took me in the spirit. I sent him yesterday's worship. The big bishop. He says, that song, why did you get it? It dropped from the Holy Ghost. It dropped from his, I was at the altar there by our former place. I'm strong. I'm strong. He says, tomorrow in the church is going to sing it. So already, before we even produce the album, you people are starting already singing. I'm strong. And now when I've seen that people are watching us on YouTube, I'll be crazy. Yes. Because this song, we be, we be creative. once I enter the studio, that's why I want I want man to come now. Yes. Amen. When I enter the studio, hallelujah. Amen. And I'm gonna do it nicely. I wanna I wanna fast in for a day because I wanna have spiritual content in my heart. Mm -hmm. And I wanna sing it. Uh, 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 so now I'm in my soul. I wanna sing. I'm strong. I'm strong in the Lord. This song will go all the way down. It's very powerful anointing, isn't it? He said, this song is not just a song. It's a prophecy. I spoke to him for one hour. He called me. It's a prophecy. You are prophesying. So tomorrow in church, he says, he's singing it. I'm strong. I'm strong in the Lord. Sing, I'm strong. I am strong. I am strong in the Lord. I am strong. I am strong. Come on. I am strong in the Lord. I am strong. Come on. I am strong in the Lord. Sing, I am healed. I am healed. I am healed in the Lord. Sing, I'm healed. I am 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 here. I am here. I am here in the Lord. I am here. My God. <coughs> I am here in the Lord. So I want to look for nice. Uh, nice lead. So there's one guy who's very good at lead. Eddie, I'll call him. I want to produce him. I want to I'll pass that those calls. It's really amazing. So I'll just call that guy. It's a call of his calls. And then one guy for nice drum. I want to be live so that he can come on us. Then I'll put my photo there into the computer. You know, I'm going to do a video. But it's going to change. And people are singing. And then it's going to be perfect. Amen. Yeah. So again, I'm going to do one. I'm going to do one. I'm going to enjoy it. Three Saturdays of rest, key to healing. I've enjoyed okay. it. Now, we are starting something about faith. I believe we are going to come here with for six months, so get ready. Just every Saturday on this one, because it's a big deal. Okay. So, faith for healing. Faith for healing. There is faith for prosperity. There is faith for protection. But we are camping on faith for healing. Just healing. Mm. Okay. So every Wednesday and Friday we are on faith for the cost to follow God. But the more you hear, the more faith to follow God comes. So you can never have faith in any subject if you don't hear the teaching in that subject. Okay. So faith comes by hearing. Faith on finance comes hearing the word of God. What? Finance. You can't prosper financially if you don't hear finance. If you hear on healing, you prosper in healing, but financially you won't prosper. So you need to hear all. That's why I capture all areas. Mm. So you need to hear. Mm. You see, imagine if every day just ate potatoes, every day, tomorrow potatoes, tomorrow potatoes. The whole five years, potato, potato. You won't be healthy. Hallelujah. Mm. There must be veggie. Mm. There must be sausage. Yes. There must be meat, like us, like meat. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, do you like meat? <laughs> yes, yes, I like it. I like meat a lot. Woo, glory. So faith for healing part one. Now, you need to pay attention because when you feed your spirit, your faith will grow. When you feed your spirit, your faith will grow and when your faith grow you are going to learn
how to become an overcomer. No one was born an overcomer. You were taught how to be an overcomer. You see. You learn how to become an overcomer. But it has to be by feeding on the word of God. It's again feeding. feeding. On the word of God. On the word of God. That's how we are saying faith for healing. So Papa said you're going to put full colon. Then another word. Your faith will make you whole. Faith for healing, full colon. Then your faith will make you whole. Amen. It's again my faith. My faith. Will make me whole. Make me we whole. need to emphasize a lot on faith like never before. Amen. Because Jesus emphasized the faith. Hallelujah. Amen. He emphasized faith, faith, faith. Amen. Are you getting these things? Amen. Why faith? Because there is no Christianity without faith. Amen. What makes Christianity is faith. That is why Christianity is also called the faith. Amen. That's another name of Christianity. If you say you are a Christian, you should be saying, I am of the faith. Christianity is the faith. Amen. So no faith, no Christianity. Amen. No faith, no being saved. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 2 8. The Bible says, We are saved by grace through faith. Amen. And that not of yourself, lest any man should boast. So Ephesians 2 8. We are saved by grace through faith. Amen. So everything we have from God, it is by grace through faith. Everything. Your healing is grace. You received it by faith. Hallelujah. Your prosperity is grace. You receive it by faith. Everything from God is grace through faith. And actually, I'm seeing clearly that even what comes faith is not faith. What comes faith is grace. Because it is the grace of God to allow you to meet a man who knows the word. That's grace already itself. So can you see grace precedes faith? It is grace that is the source of faith. If God never anointed me, how can I preach it? Hallelujah. Amen. So can you see, grace is the source of faith. Amen. So grace produces faith. And when faith comes, you lay hold of the grace. Hallelujah. That's how it works. So your faith will make you whole. It's like my faith. My faith. Will make me whole. Make me whole. Many people, they believe wrong. They believe that it's up to God. Mm -mm. Your healing is not up to God. That is an irresponsible stance. Many people believe that healing is up to God. Some people, they even think they are even speaking right. But that's a result in Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Healing is not up to God. It's up to you. Because God has given it. Hallelujah. It's given already. That's why every healing you want has been given a long time ago. Amen. All you need is your faith to lay hold of it. Hallelujah. Amen. And to receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Second, healing Amen. has been given. Amen. Second, prosperity Amen. has been given. Amen. But you need faith to walk in it. Amen. So it's not up to God. That's why Many people they say it's up to God. It's God who determines you get healed. No, 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 no. That's wrong. It is not God who determines to get healed. If that be the case, then God will heal people in the hospital. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. That's why not everybody in the hospital is being healed. When she was in the hospital, only her was healed there. Some were dying. Amen. But she was believing also. Hallelujah. Amen. She was believing. She was laying all of her faith. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I said, thank you, Jesus. Amen. And God honored her faith. Like many of you, God has honored your faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Now listen. There are places for babies. Those who don't, know, who don't know a lot, God can allow us to receive for them. Amen. But not all the time. There are those who don't know better, 
God can allow me to receive it for them through the gift of the Holy Ghost. That means this one is not doing anything. I just sap it to you by the Holy Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> it's called a gift. It's why God heal you without you doing anything. But for babies, but the more you grow, the more God wants you to know how to receive it. Hallelujah. Yeah. For how long are you going to remain? Imagine you are 20 and your mother is still placing pap in your mouth. <laughs> There's a time when you grow, even parents, they stop feeding you. There's a time when you grow, even parents, they stop bathing you. Hallelujah. Yeah. You know, also, God wants you to be that way. Amen. Parents, you can receive healing for children, but there's an age they must learn to receive for, them for themselves. Amen. Amen. I see you learning in the name of Jesus. Amen. So people, they say, it's up to God. It's not up to God. It's up to you. Amen. Do you want to be healed? Then take it, hallelujah. Amen. I said, take it, hallelujah. He said, take. Now we are going to start going deeper. Jesus, in his ministry, there are about 19 individual healing recorded. That means one on one. The 21 is the one that he cut, Peter cut the heel of Malchus. And Jesus healed his spirit. That's a 20th record of healing. Imagine God even healing Zedem. Mm. The one who's coming to take him to go and kill him is also healing him. Hallelujah! Mm. Can you see the willingness to heal? Mm. Ah! That means God is ready to heal you. I don't care mental problem, body problem. God is ready to heal you. Hallelujah! Mm. And I'm telling you, healing is taking place right now as you are sitting in your chair. In the name of Jesus. Why? Because he sent forth his word and his word what? Healed to them. It's again the word. Amen. He's the healer. Amen. Now, so the word is healing you right now. Amen. Not even laying of hand is being done here. But the word of God is doing things to your body and to your glands and to your eyes and to your brain and to your bones as the word is coming. Hallelujah. Amen. Something's happened to you. Let's let me explain. So there are 20 cases. One on one. But those are the not are, are not the only twenty. The Bible says in the book of John, the last chapter says, if everything Jesus did and he said was recorded, the world can never contain the books. Wow, 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 wow. Imagine that the world can never contain the books. Mm. <laughs> so what we have is what the Holy Ghost had picked himself mm -hmm. to say these are what they need for every generation for all times. Hallelujah. Amen. So it means there is answer to every question <coughs> that will arise today, tomorrow, next year in this book. The Holy Ghost has gathered everything rightly and accordingly. The other thing what put you on is now. Hallelujah. So every question man will never ask has the answer in the word of God. Amen. So again, the word of God is my answer. Where is the answer to your finances? The word of God. Oh my God. Hallelujah. So the Holy Ghost and the beat this. Now, out of the 20, 10 people and in this series, that's why I say maybe six months on this one. Because I'm going to break one by one their healing. <coughs> huh? By the time we're finishing here, there will be no shadow of doubt in your heart that God can heal you. Hallelujah! Amen. Your faith will scale so high that you're going to be so healed that you forget that disease exists. Hallelujah! Amen. <laughs> oh, glory be to God. I say, glory be to God. Amen. So, out of the 20, 10, Jesus mentioned their faith was the determining factor for their healing. Out of the 20, 10, Jesus said, your faith, your faith, your faith. Then if that be the, if that be the ringing tone, we must pay attention. <laughs> Out of 20, to 
Today I will go through with that. I will show you all the ten. Mm. Jesus, the, and when you go home, go and meditate and pay attention. Why did he say your faith? Because faith is the answer. Amen. Some people even say prayer is the answer. That's wrong. Faith in prayer brings answers. Yes. Amen. Hello. Yes. Prayer is not the answer. It's faith in prayer. This wrong theory and wrong thinking. Prayer changes things. That's a lie. Faith in prayer changes things. Amen. Amen. Prayer alone doesn't change things. What things soever you desire, when you pray, believe you receive them. Yes. Uh-huh. Not, you, not when you pray, it should be yours. When you pray, believe you receive them. Mark 11 24. And you shall what? Have them. What are you going to have them? When you believe, you received. Amen. Not when you pray. When you believe, uh, you received. Rightly dividing of scriptures. Some they say, you must shake your body. Shake your body. You're not shaking enough in prayer. It's not in the shaking of the body. That's like a symbol. They are shakers. They are movers. <laughs> no, 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 no. All you need is your heart and the word in your heart and then release it. Hallelujah. That's enough. The word in your heart and your heart in it, then God will be hearing you. Amen. My prayer life has become very effective. Amen. There are times I commune with God. Last time I just prayed for five hours, I didn't feel it. I was just enjoying God. He's talking and I'm talking to him. And it's just inside. I'm just having a, a conversation with God. And then soon I'll teach you how to follow the Spirit in prayer. The deep, it's a bit, it's a, it's a very powerful teaching. Where I pray the spirit leading. As I'm praying, I'm following the leading of the spirit in prayer. That's very powerful prayer. Amen. You can pray the word or pray the leading of the Holy Ghost in prayer. Two things. Makes your prayer powerful. Amen. I still get results in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said I still get results in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, ten people, Jesus mentioned their faith. Amen. Mm. That's for the fifty percent. Then six people, though their faith is not mentioned, but you can see actions of faith. Like for example, the man at the pool of Asada just found him. He says, "Will you be whole?" Look at people don't know the word. I have no man to throw me in the water. He's not saying. Is anyone no, no throwing you? He said, Do you want to be whole? Amen. In fact, he said, he said, Do you will to be whole? That means being whole is a will. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you will to be whole? He says, he says, I'm not man to throw me in the water. I'm not asking, is there a man to throw you? Can you say people like this? Oh, the wind is too much. has a problem. Mm. <laughs> he says, pick your mat and go. Ah, just like that. So can you see the responsibility of faith? Can you see it? Picking his mat because he can't pick. The mat is picking him. Hallelujah. Amen. But he says, pick your mat and go. Mm. I can't. But you heard from the Lord. Do it. Mm. He picked the mat and go to work. So the problem was that the man was enjoying the mat. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. Jesus attacked the problem. Pick your mat and go. But can you see faith involved? Because he can't. But the action of obeying the word, that's faith. Mm. Voice faith is not mentioned. But you can see faith action. Can you see that? Mm. Another example is a man that was blind in John chapter 9. He came to Jesus. Jesus spat on the, on the, on the ground. They spat up. You know this. And mix it with the soil. That's what Jesus did. That is not, that is not saying. Hallelujah. It's not cleanness. But my friend is bringing result. Hallelujah. I'm not going to tell you. And said, go watch the Siloha. 
You see, for him to go and wash, that's faith. Faith is not mentioned, but action of faith can be seen. Him going to wash, and he came seeing. Hallelujah! Have you seen this? He said, what do you see? The other one says, I see men like trees. Yeah, it's, a, it's a wrong sight. He said, hey, you can cut men you. Let me pray for you again. I'll attach. Then it's so clear. He saw men like what? Three. So when he saw you are cut, you maybe think you are three. <laughs> yes, says, no, you need a clarity of sight. So we see six of them. Their faith is not mentioned, but you can see faith action. Are you getting this? Amen. Only, only the three of them, or only four, their faith is not mentioned. So can you see, being healed by the gift is the percentage is minimal. That's why you can't wait for healing miracle. To be healed. Rather, as the word is coming, you can be healed. Hallelujah. Amen. With your faith, you can be healed anywhere, anytime. In the toilet, God can heal you. At the beach, God can heal you. Hallelujah. At the beach there, God will heal you at the beach. Just at the beach there, God will heal you. In your car, God will heal you. Hallelujah. With your faith intact, anywhere, any day, any time, you can be healed. Healing is available by your faith, anywhere, any time, any day. Second, by my faith. Second, by my faith. I can be healed. Any time. Anywhere, any day, as I want. As I want. So, are you going to wait no. for your pastor to assist you? No, no. But as I need to assist you to just know the way so you can receive it on your own self. Amen. So can you see the two measures? There's an assistance of the pastor. That means uh, the Holy Ghost can give me a word of knowledge, but it will require your action. For example, somebody here, you have a crutch. Stand up and walk. It's a word of knowledge. It's coming by the help of the Holy Ghost. But you have to do your part to stand up and watch. walk. Your faith is required. But there are those, no faith, I'll just come and say, you stand up. I'll just pick them up. Come, walk. That is the Holy Ghost doing this work. It's called the gifts of what? Healings. But you can't rely on that. You don't know where you want it to manifest. <laughs> but for the word, it's available every time. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, I say for the word, it's available every time. That's why you can find that maybe in a big church, 10,000 people, miracle service, only two were healed. Mm. Because they are all dependent on the, what, the gift. Mm. But if all can depend on the word, all 10,000 can be healed. Hallelujah! Amen. So the word of God can heal man. That's why Jesus healed millions. Why? As we were speaking, the word you are being healed. Mm. As we are listening, you are believing, you are being healed. They are being changed, you are being healed. So the word of God can heal thousands at once. As long as they believe. Hallelujah. Amen. So, the life on Pastor Stan, miracle service, can be as you will. But by the word, it is as I will. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, that's powerful right there. Also, I know the word. Because as I will, I can take it. Anytime, any day, anywhere. Amen. Are you being blessed? Amen. So, say again, my faith, my faith will make me whole. Amen. So, we are going to go deeper and we are going to touch individual. We are, because we are going to know who this person was. They are, they are mentioned well. Their condition are mentioned. And their approach, their approach just is mentioned. And how Jesus ministered to them is mentioned. So, we are going to go deeper one on one. And you are going to learn on each one. So, you can also learn how to respond and how to minister to others. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what he said. When a man master this, you can know how to minister healing to people. You know Jesus ministered differently. So as you're observing how he ministered, you're also learning. That's how I do. When I'm reading, I'm learning, oh, this one he did this. Why? I'm questioning. I'm learning. So when I'm before this person, hmm, it could be pray for what? Alright. So last time I'm pray for water, but under dream they are healed. The other one to be lay hand on them. The other one to be a, a scripture. So as you as you are learning. You become an expert on how to minister healing. Amen. So ministering healing is not the same to everyone. Yes. Are you being blessed? Amen. 
Many churches have emphasized that God heal people when he heals. No, no, no. You are not healed because it's the will of God. You are healed because your faith is the will of God. Just because it's the will of God doesn't guarantee you having it. It is the will of God that you won't have it because it's the will of God. You've got to receive it. Mm. Second, I receive it. I receive and it. you receive it with your spirit, your heart. You receive it with your heart. You lay hold on it with your heart. So, we don't get healed because it's the will of God. Also, we are not healed because we fasted a long time. Hello. People, many pastors have been fasting. 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 No, 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 no. You can fast and still be more sick. Mm. And even the worse. Because fasting does not bring healing. Your faith is the accessor of his again, my faith. My faith. Say that my faith. my faith. Your faith, believe that you are healed. Okay. Ah. I said, believe that you are healed. Amen. You've got to believe it that you are healed. Yeah. Before you feel it, believe you are healed. Amen. So again, my faith. So again, my faith. What to heal you? What to heal you? What to heal you? Okay. So many churches have emphasized fasting. They have, they have emphasized praying long, <laughs> begging God. No, 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 no. The determining factor is my faith and your faith. Hmm. This is powerful. Now I'll show you all the ten that we cross. Today I'm just showing you. I want to write it nicely so that you can meditate on them. So that you can know them. I know them by heart. I can just go to like this. But I want you to see it. Because when you know, you know. Hallelujah. Amen. When you know, you know. Amen. And you can only believe as far as you know. Amen. That's deeper. Amen. You can only believe as far as you know. Amen. That's what you need to know. Amen. Number one. We are starting now. Matthew 9.22 the woman of the issue of blood. Matthew 9, 22. Jesus said, write it down clearly and make sure that you, you make it on it and make sure you master it. Make sure you see it clear. Jesus, read later, said to the woman, Matthew 9, 22. But Jesus turned him about and when he saw her, he said, daughter, let me use a theology statement <laughs> Let me not quote it exactly. Let me use a theology statement. Daughter, you are lucky today. <laughs> Did he say that? No. So why are these people saying he's just lucky? In fact, lucky is not a Bible word. Yes. Don't even use it. It's a satanic word. Amen. It's a word that wants to erase. God out of it. Yeah. Why do you say lucky? Are you telling me every good is lucky? The Bible says every good things, every perfect gift come from above. Not lucky. Do you see how Satan has played with words? Hey, I was lucky. My God! You call God protection lucky? I don't use the word lucky. It's a demonic word. Some versions of the Bible today are, are even more critical. You find they're using the word lucky. In some versions of the Bible, those are demonic translations. Be careful. Satan has also written Bibles. I'm telling you. That's why I stick to the KJV. <laughs> oh, this guy, look at the message Bible. You see many things that demonic language. <coughs> you hear in the Bible, he said, lucky. I remember I told you that salvation I won't find the word race. That's demonic. There's no race in the Bible. You won't find black and white in the Bible. It doesn't exist. People, tribes, families, nation, no race. Because race is the root of racism. 
black and white, not bad. I don't go on white. I don't go on black. I just go brother, sister, light complexion, lighter complexion. That's how we be. That's the truth. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't allow the world to teach us here. We have said the standard is the scriptures. Amen. Hello. Amen. Are we being blessed? Amen. Remember, here we say, show us verse. Where's the what? Where's the scripture? That's what we say. Where's the scripture? If I want to convince you, give me the best. Three of them. Then if I find them, I say I bow. But it's tough. <laughs> tough. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's hard teaching. Wanna hear them? Hallelujah. <laughs> you must be committed to hear them. Yes. Are you doing this? Amen. What did he say? Daughter, your faith. Be of good comfort. Your faith has made you what? Whole. What made that whole? Her faith. faith. So, if faith made a whole, can your faith make you also? Yes. Absolutely. Has faith changed? No. Are people being saved? Yes. Then people can build also? Yes. Because faith doesn't change. If a faith made a whole, your faith will heal you. I say your faith will heal you. Oh, I say your faith will heal you. Amen. Same Matthew chapter 9. 28, 29. Two blind men came to Jesus. They want for you. Matthew 9, 28, 29. And when he was coming to the house, the blind men came unto him. Jesus said unto him, Believe you. Do you believe that I'm able to do this? They said unto him, Yeah, Lord. 29. And he touched in their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. According to your what? Faith. Ah, according to my power? No. It is according to my power. No. It was the power that did the work. But their faith conducted his power. Amen. What did he emphasize? Faith. faith. The master said, Your faith, be it unto you. Their eyes are open. Are we there? Amen. I said, Are we there? Amen. Matthew 15. Matthew 15. Okay, let, let's go Matthew 8 first. Matthew 8, 13. Look at the centurion. Matthew 8, 15. The centurion. Jesus said to, his, to the servant, to the elders of the centurion, he said this. And Jesus said unto the centurion, Go your way. Go what? Your way. And as you have what? Believed. So be done unto you. And the servant was healed. Can you see? As you have what? Believe. 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 So can you be healed by your faith? Yes. I didn't tell that. Yes. Can you be healed by your faith? Yes. yes. If Jesus failed to heal you by your faith, then Jesus is a liar and has changed. Mm. That's a great challenge, my friend. My friend. <laughs> if truly you believe, his word and he failed to heal you. He's a liar. Mm. Mm, that's a challenge. And we know God can never lie. Amen. And he has never lied. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not a man to lie. Amen. So your faith will make you whole. Amen. Uh, I said your faith will make you whole. Uh, I said your faith will make you whole. Amen. And right now your faith has made you whole. Amen. Hallelujah. Matthew 15. Look at this. I just want to listen to the finish. Matthew 15, 28. This woman brought her daughter. Came to her daughter's ear before Jesus. 28. And Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is your faith. Be it unto you, even as you will. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Even as you will. Ah! Even as you will. Ah! So can I get the can I have it my way? Yes! Yes! My faith is my way! I want to have it! So I receive it! Can you have it in your way? Yes! Your faith is your way. God honors your faith. That's why I can have anything in this world by my faith. Hallelujah! Amen. He said that I can have anything Amen. in this world by my faith. Amen. Ah! It was Copeland who made a statement. He said, I don't want anything in my house that never came by faith. Ah, what a statement. I love that statement. Mm -hmm. I don't want anything in my house that never came by faith. It's a challenge to me. It's indeed, it's caught in the verse. Jesus said, your faith has made you all. Mm -hmm. 
That man is coming by your faith. Hallelujah. Ah, your car is coming by your faith. Your house is coming by your faith. Hallelujah. Your faith has brought the house. Hallelujah. By my faith. 1,000 members are coming. Hallelujah. Oh, I see 1,000 members are coming. By my faith, I see you driving your own car. Hallelujah. By my faith. I believe that. As I believe that. I'm going on TV by my faith. I believe that. I see me traveling every day on the airport. Hallelujah. By my faith, I believe that. Woo! Be unto as you will. I'm going to get in there. Oh, I give already three. Are we there? This is three already. This is four. All right. Mark 10, 52. Mark 10, 52. Blind but mayors. Mark 10, 52. Mark 10, 52. Mark 10, 52. Anyone who's, 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 who's convinced you otherwise, ask them to give you 10 verses. <laughs> It'll be tough. Mark 10, 52, are you there? Jesus said, and Jesus said unto him, Go your way, your faith has made you what? Oh, and immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. What made him whole? His faith. What made him whole? Faith. What brought his eyes back? His faith. Can your faith take away the pain out of your body? Yes. It is the power of God that does the work, but your faith conducts your power. The power. But Jesus never emphasized power. Why are pastors emphasizing power? We need, we need more power. We need more faith. The power is available. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not more power. We need more faith. That's more power. The power is available. Hallelujah. More power. It's not more power. The Holy Ghost is the power. It's available. It's inside of you. We need more faith. More of it. We must hear more. We must believe more. Yeah, that's the that. We must believe more. The more you hear, the more faith comes. You know, faith can delete you. Faith can be great. Uh -huh. All right. Master said. So, a little faith can do it, but we need more. How can we can draw more? Yeah. Amen. There are three people. No faith, little faith, very great faith. It's not in the book of it. it, 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 it Some people have no what? No faith. Mm -hmm. in so if you see somebody never receive from the Lord, what's the sign? They never fail. It's pure just like that. People don't want to hear that. Are you telling me I passed the Bible? We're just passing in, in, in ignorance. Come, we teach you the word of God so that you can show how to get it. Mm. Hallelujah. But I passed, nothing happened. Then I would have passed in ignorance. And now, come and learn. I pray for seven hours every day. Then I would pray. You could just pray and believe. Come now, they know how to pray correctly. Hallelujah. Amen. People don't want to act, accept that. They did wrong because God and His faith does not fail. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why Romans says, Let God be true and every man be what? A liar. Amen. Five. Have you, have you only five? Are you there? Amen. Luke 8 50. Jairus. It is also in Mark 5. Jairus, Luke 8, 50. Look at this. Luke 8, verse 50. Are you there? Look at this. But when Jesus heard it, he answered him, saying, Fear not! Believe only, and she shall be made whole. Fear not. Believe only, your body is going to change. Hallelujah! Fear not. Believe only, your business is coming up. Hallelujah! Fear not. Believe only. Your children are being saved. Fear not. It does the answer. Fear no. That's the stand and say, God is taking us out of this thing. We are coming out. Hallelujah. And the proof that you believe, there's no fear. Fearless, my friend. Fearless. Fearless. No fear at all. That's the sign you believe. I'm a fearless woman. I can look at you, devil, and say, get out in the name of Jesus. My God. It's not a man to lie. Hallelujah. My God, just apply all my needs. Hallelujah. Amen. My God is taking us out. We are coming out. Hallelujah. Amen. Those are people's results. No fear at all. Amen. There's one day Satan told me, you say, you want a man, Mr. Maran? I said, you are very stupid. 
I even took what I had a lot and I gave to say that I'm relying on God. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. And after I even gave what I had, more came. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. What? It must come. Yes. Say it must come. It must come. Say it must come. It must come. Not if, when. Yes. There's no if. Yes. In the language of faith, there's no if. Yes. That's why many people, many, many preachers, know they preach, they say, when, when Daniel, when Shatev is like a Delivo, they say, our God who we saved is able to deliver us. And if he does not, that's not the Bible. You can't say if he does not. The Bible didn't say that. If you don't throw us in the fire, that's the meaning. We want to bow. That's the meaning. Not if he doesn't. Our God who we saved is able to deliver, and he will. And again, if he doesn't, that's ambiguity. I'm not in faith. He will if he does not. Do not believe in God. You can it can be in two ways. God will. Tell him God will. God is God bringing your money? Yes. I said, is God bringing your money? Yes. Is God bringing your job? Yes. Do you believe your job has come? Yes. Okay, then rest and begin to praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. That's number what? Six. Luke 17, 19. The leper. Who came back? Luke 17, 19. Number 7. Jesus said. Luke 17, 19. And he said unto him, Arise, go your way. Your faith has made you what? Oh. Ay, 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 ay. How can the reputation? Are you telling me this is a great thing to play with? It means your faith will do it. Amen. I said your faith will do it. Amen. I said your faith will do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Your faith has made you more. Go in, go away. John 4, 50. Number what? Number 8. John 4, verse 50. Remember, I promise I'll read you all the time. John 4, 50. The nobleman's son, the nobleman's son, this nobleman had the son of a sick, and he came to Jesus. John 4, verse 50. Look at this. Jesus said unto him, Go your way, your son lives. And the man what? Believed the word that Jesus has spoken to him and he went his way. Yeah. Faith is measured. What he will discern is faith. He believed that went his way. How many times when the man of God can say, the Lord says, your cars come. You begin to doubt and question many things. How will it happen? Mm. Forget about and begin to praise God that your cars come. And go and stick a car in your room, expecting a car to come. Hallelujah. Amen. And people are too questioning a lot. When he told him your son lives, he believed and went his way. Amen. Number nine. Mark 2, verse 5. Mark 2. So if you read carefully, you are going to think it's more than 10, but there are only 10. Because Mark says it, Matthew says it, Luke says it. It's the same story. Amen. So, Amen. so Mark 2, verse 5. Mark 2, verses 5. Are you there? The Bible says this. When Jesus saw their what? Their faith. Their what? Their Their what? Their Their what? He said to the sick of the house, Son, the sins are forgiven. When he saw their faith. So can you see faith? Yes. Faith is noticeable. If your face is gloomy, not in faith. Faith can be seen. When they went to tear the, the roof of Jesus' house, the house of Jesus, how did I know it was his house? That was his house. It was the owner that taken him to court. If it was someone's house, you tear someone's roof, you are in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it was Jesus' house because every time he finished his work, he went to Captain and Rachel yeah. to rest. That was his house. Yeah. It was the resting house. Yeah. So they tear the roof. He saw there and say, Yeah, boys, I see your faith. Amen. Yeah. The room was full of unbelief and full of condemners and judges, the Pharisees, doctors of the law. They came to find faults. But yes, it's the idea people tearing the, 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 the roof. He says, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He said, he saw their faith. He says, son, I know because of your past sin, you may fail to receive the healing. But the sins are forgiven. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Attack is the source of the influence of faith. Condemnation. 
last number 10 Mark 9 22 23 he is the father brought his son to Jesus who was falling under fire under water Mark 9 22 23 and over time just cast him into the fire to come and into the water to destroy him but if you can do anything have compassion on us and help us. So he think it's up to Jesus. Have you seen? Yes. If you can. Now look, there's a play of words there. If you can, 22. He's telling Jesus, if you can. And just telling, say that to him, if you can. Can you see the play of words? He said, Jesus, if you can. He said, no, 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 if you can, not me. <laughs> can you see the play of words? He said, just if you can, have compassion and help us. He says, if you can. Can you see he returned back if you can? If you can believe. Ay, 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 All things are what? Possible! To him that believes. Stand up on your feet. This is very powerful right there. You see faith mentioned 10 times out of 20. Something must lay in your head. How are you going to get everything? Say by my faith. Your faith can give you that thing. I'm telling you, your faith will do it. God is responding to your faith. Amen. That's what I want you to I'm in a place. Uh, your faith will make you whole. Your faith will make you whole. I say your faith will make you whole. I say your faith will make you whole. And next week I'll go more deeper. And then I'll begin to break it out in the future upon the Upon the individual, upon it. By the time I finish it, your heart is full of faith. There is no doubt that God can come to heal you. Oh, shake out a lot of Oh, oh, yeah, my son, get to the other man, get up, I'm not going to 